Hey guys, and welcome to episode 5 of Crunk and Matt Making Tips and Tricks. In this video, we're going to be going over how you can combine textures using opacity changes to make interesting looking surfaces. First of all, let's go into a tester and see how this looks. So as you can see, we've got these more interesting looking floors, and on the ceiling, some sort of similar situation going on. And over here, a slightly more interesting floor texture, which isn't just the repeated sort of floorboard. Almost looks as if it might be wet, something like that. Now, this effect is very simple to achieve. What we've pretty much done is taken two textures and overlaid them over each other, adjusting the opacity between them and the individual colours of each to achieve the desired effect. So here you can see we've got a liquid texture underneath, just at normal settings with a slightly changed whiteness to be a little bit more grey, and it's a line texture on top. And this creates this sort of wet or more interesting floor texture. Over here we've got a similar situation with check and underneath a grain texture. The top one is at 0.7 opacity, and the bottom one is full opacity. Just in case you're wondering, over here it's 0.9 and 1. Up here on the roof, we've got 0.1 for the bottom one, and 1 for the top one, and this is a very, uh, very bright white grain texture, and below that just makes this cool sort of uh, ceiling. Anywho, let's make one ourselves. So first you're going to want to grab a cube, and then you want to kind of make it into the shape you desire. Let's just say we want a little shape like this, and we're going to be making this tile effect. So we're going to make grain first, so that's just down here under the texture menu. You're going to want to configure that to be whatever you want. I actually like my being relatively dark, because when you put stuff over, over top of it, it lightens it a little bit. So now I'm going to take this up, we're going to change it to check, and then that should be good. Now all we want to do is just adjust this, make the opacity lower, let's put this at about 0.7, and then just put that at max brightness and that looks pretty good. Now just mess about with any other settings like the grayness on this. Obviously at max you cannot see it, but if we bring it down we start to be able to see it clearly. Now feel free to mess around with this yourself and make interesting combinations. This is a pretty simple and easy effect, but it's very useful and makes for some interesting surfaces. Now I'll show you it being used in a map. Here we can see this effect being used in my map project Nix. If you look up to the ceiling, this is actually a combination of two textures on top of each other the grain texture, and the grid texture. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.